Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor you know from films such as A Beautiful Mind and the Avengers franchise. He stars as Andy Warhol in the, collabora the collaboration, excuse me, which opens at Manhattan Theater Club's Samuel J. Friedman Theater on December 20th. Please welcome back to the show our friend Paul Bedney, everybody. <laughs> Hello! Hello! I am so happy to have you here. I'm lovely. I'm happy to be here. And you are, uh, you're on stage right now. You've got a show tonight? Yeah, I have a show tonight. Right and this now. is, uh, you get to play Andy Warhol in this. I do, It's yep. about a collaboration with Andy Warhol and his friendship with Basquiat, 80s New York. This is a role you originally turned down. Yeah, I turned it down on, uh, yeah, I thought, well, I, I, I thought maybe there's a reason that Andy Warhol is always a cameo. Right. You know, well, maybe there is a reason, you know, <laughs> yeah. we'll see what the critics say. <laughs> right. So, but um, uh, the producer, I, when I turned it down, sent me his diaries, and his diaries are, were dictated to his assistant, Pat, and they're incredibly these long, circuitous sentences, and he sounds more like Truman Capote than the sort of monosyllabic. Yeah, uh, that's true. In films, we tend to see him sort of floating through the background, one or two lines. Yeah, and then he's off. so uh, so we'll 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 see if it works. Very exciting. Now, one thing that has to work as well is you every night physically have to go up and do this show. Are you regretting the choice to return to the theater? Well, yeah, well, y y yes, yes. It's been 25 years. I'm, Has I'm it been 25 years? Yeah, that's, since wow. I've I've been on stage, and I I, I kind of got the. When we did Wonder Vision, we did one episode that was in front of a live studio audience, yes. and people were laughing at my jokes. Not my jokes, yeah. but they were laughing at my jokes. Yeah. Somebody else had written them. Somebody yeah, yeah. cleverer than me. But well, that's how the theater works too. That's right. right. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm, I'm really shallow, and that uh, I, it just it yeah. immediately appealed oh, to yeah, me. Oh yeah, you get a taste of it. I loved it. Oh I and know. I was like, I gotta do that. So I did it, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. it's, I thought it's going to be great. No more early film mornings. At, you know, getting up at yep. you know, the dawn of your crack, and then, um, <laughs> and, and then the the truth is, it's really hard <laughs> yeah. and really frightening, and you have to learn all of these words at the same time, <laughs> right. and then go out in front of people. It's, it's been a it's been a, a, a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be very inspirational for young actors who are watching. I think. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm, that's what I'm hoping to do. I've convinced, you know, all of my children not to be in the, yeah. you know. The and do you think that's gonna hold? Uh, you have three kids and I guess you're almost at, the two have sort of committed. You've yep. got a young, an 11 year old. So it, yeah. you really think there's no chance she's gonna? Well, the jury's still out on yeah. her, but the, the older one is, uh, he's an aeronautical engineer. Seems such a better choice than actually. Yep. Yeah. Uh, may, 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 mainly because he, biologically he's not my son. That's yeah. the reason he's an aeronautical. <laughs> Engineer, because he doesn't have my math gene. Um, they almost didn't give him the job at the last minute until he was like, no, no, he's not my dad, dad. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Ray. Right oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm 50. I, I thought winter's coming. My joints aren't going to be up to those yeah. early mornings. I'll do some theater, and it's been a nightmare. Have you had? Um, 50 is a big number. I'm coming up. I'll be next year for me. Uh -huh. um, what about? Have, you, have there been other things that have made you really like? Sure, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. You took it. It's very important. Yeah. You've got to do it. It's called a colonoscopy. Yeah. Have you? Yes. Uh, did you take the leap? Oh, I did it. Yeah. I, I did it, and I'm now going to tell you about it on Great. Uh, <laughs> on television. I, this is an education. If I want, there's two p things I want people to take away from our time here. It's get a colonoscopy yep. if you're a man who's yep. you know 50, and that acting is a is a drag. It's not. <laughs> Um, but not as much as a nightmare as a colonoscopy. Well, that's good. Okay. So after you got your colonoscopy, you're like, oh, doing a oh, Broadway show is not that yeah, bad. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. I was very frightened. Yeah. Uh, the doctor was. I said, I don't want to go under. I'm very frightened of going under. Oh, you he don't said, like anything. I, I anesthesia. said, I don't want to do that. Yeah. And so he said, Well, don't worry about it. It's, it's like a, it's a keyhole camera. Keyhole okay. is the word that he used. Yeah. <laughs> and I went into the room. And there were all, there was this huge, well, like lots of people. And I thought, I mean, let me say a crew. Uh-huh, you know, yeah. Like a film crew. <laughs> right, sure. And this, you would have to climb a beanstalk to find a keyhole this uh, big. <laughs> because 
I looked at it, it was like an IMAX camera. <laughs> and I, I immediately said, put me under right now. Yeah. Put me, just put me under. I'm not, have you got a boom operator? <laughs> what's going what's on? So, so I go, and they put me under, I wake up, I'm high as a kite on pethidine and just like so happy. And I turn around, I'm in the recovery room, there are these two nurses, and I started flirting with them, and, I'm, and they're laughing at all my jokes because I'm so funny and witty <laughs> and clever. And there's this really annoying buzzing noise, but it doesn't matter, it's just a great day. I'm flirting and they're laughing, and then I turn around, I see my wife, and I go, uh oh. <laughs> but she, she's laughing. Yeah. She's, She's laughing too, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I was flirting with these, but oh, this is the best day of my life. I've had a colonoscopy. Yeah. I've been flirting with these girls. My, what, everybody's laughing at me. Yeah. What the f is that noise? And I started li listening, and I realized I've been farting for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, because they, they, have, they have to inflate you. I, yeah. I, they probably don't do it like that. <laughs> With a, yeah, they with have a, a super pump. high tech right. camera and then like just a basketball pump. I don't know. I was, un <laughs> I was unconscious, maybe. And so they inflate you and then, because they got to get this IMAX camera and the whole crew in. Yeah. You know. The crew goes in as well. I don't know. I was unconscious. <laughs> Who knows what happened? Um, I have a great deal more to ask you about. Uh, thank you for sharing that story. There you go. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful Christmas story. We'll be right back. <laughs> with